What's up everyone, this is Nuri here, and I want to talk to you about Osiris today in this video. Um, he's one of the older gods in Smite, <coughs> and he's a physical warrior from the Egyptian pantheon. Now, let's start talking about uh, his past first, which is called Fragmented. It reads, each time Osiris uses an ability, he burns away a fragment of his body, gaining damage mitigation for each missing fragment. After losing eight fragments, he becomes his spirit form. He may walk through enemies and enemy blockers, and his basic attacks do not incur a movement penalty. This effect lasts for six successful basic attacks. So this is a strong passive when you really get down to the bones of it. It's granting up to 16% physical mitigation and 8% magical mitigation. And you're getting a hastened, uh, a hastened effect with your basic attacks because you're not, uh, you don't have a movement penalty. So, you know, when you build this guy with uh, attack speed, this guy's just going to be boom, boom, boom. And the fact that you're able to walk through enemies and enemy blockers, it's just, I mean, that's just great in itself. So that's his passive. Um, he has eight fragments, and each time he burns away one, he gains damage mitigation for each fragment. <laughs> now for his first ability called Sickle Strike. Osiris throws the sickle forward. It, it stops at the first enemy hit, dealing damage and slowing them. The sickle remains for the duration of the slow. So, you just, it's a good slow. It's like you're throwing uh, your sickle and it hits an enemy. It's going to slow them down uh, by 20%. Um, at max rank. So, that's your slow and it deals a lot of damage. His second ability, Spirit Flail. Osiris imbues his flail with spiritual energy, striking at the target ground location. Enemies hit take damage, and Osiris gains a movement speed. If an enemy is under the effect of Sickle Strike, the target slow is increased in power and duration. So uh, a combo is you throw your one dead enemy, and then you throw your two on top of it. So they're getting slowed, uh, their slow is increased, and the duration of it's increased. But uh, yeah, it's kind of like an overhead uh, ground target location. Okay, let's look at his third ability, the Judgment Tether. Osiris flings out a mummy rats, tethering himself to all nearby enemy gods. Targets, uh, targets hit, deal, reduce damage over the next four seconds. The tether can be broken by targets moving really far away enough from Osiris. Targets still in the range of the duration of Osiris are stunned. So, um, targets hit, deal reduced damage over the next, so you're dealing, you're slowing them down, and they're doing reduced damage as well as they're going to become stunned if they can't get away from your judgment tether. So, this is like, um, very similar to, uh, Kled from League of Legends, kind of like one of his abilities. Okay, now let's look at his ultimate. Lord of the Afterlife. Osiris sheds any remaining fragments, getting the benefit of his passive, and leaps forward. Osiris targets all enemy gods in the landing area and rips a fragment of their spirit out, dealing damage and preventing them from healing. Targets are rooted for 0.4 seconds during the attack. Enemy minions in the target area also take damage. So, um, you know, say you have like three fragments. That are, have been on uh, that remain when you use your alt, he uh, takes them all off, and you get the passive. And you can jump and leap and land, and it will stun enemies. They'll be they will be rooted for 0.4 seconds, and they will um, prevent them from healing. So it's really great against uh, gods who heal. Um, but this warrior is very strong um, in solo. I think that's the best place to put him um, because he does a lot of damage with his abilities and he has great attack speed. So 
Um, you know, his abilities do a lot of damage, and if you build him attack speed, you're going to even do a lot more damage because you're getting benefits from his passive. And another reason he does great in solo is because of his uh, mitigation. So he's mitigating a lot of damage that you have to use using abilities. So he's just tanky. Um, as you can see in this video, I was able to uh, pretty much destroy Odin in my lane. And in the game, I was just going around uh, getting in people's faces uh, because I could. Um, you can build an attack speed or you can build an ability or mixed. It just depends on what your style is and what you're up against. But I hope you learned something about Osiris in this video. And enjoy the rest of it. Uh, please watch it uh, if you want to see how to play him. And hopefully you learn something. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next